Hello there, I'm Bonnebert, and I love Pokemon. This franchise has been a part of my life ever since I was a little kid when I played Pokemon X. Ever since then, I've devoted my life to this franchise. I've played pretty much every main series game, and a lot of spin-offs, and I've bought a lot of plushes. There are a lot of these guys. 1,025 to be exact. I hate some of them, and love a lot of them. I never really thought about my thoughts on every Pokemon, until right now. In this video, I'll be going over all my thoughts on these Pokemon. But since I don't want this video to be like 10 hours long, I'm only going to do a few words for each Pokemon. So I don't waste 5 hours of your day. Without further ado, I mean I'm pretty sure I'm done with the intro, let's get right into it. Cute little frog guy. Cool little dinosaur. I mean, it's iconic, what can I say? Everyone's favorite Kanto starter. It's just Charmander with a spike on his head. Game Freak's favorite Pokemon. It's pretty overrated. My favorite Kanto mod. Kinda underrated. Pretty cool, but should have had a second type. It's kinda cute. It had the best battle in the anime. Every time I see it, I only think of ashes. Does anyone else think it has a party hat on? It's a fine looking businessman. Everybody know that's Big Dick B. It's just a bird. It's just a bird. With hair. A little boring, but I actually kinda like it. The Alolan form's better. It's not that bad. The better Kanto bird. Ho-Oh from Wish. Only memorable because of Team Rocket. It desperately needs an evolution. Japanese Mickey Mouse. But seriously, it's a great mascot. Even your mom knows it. Actually overshadowed by its pre-evolution. He's just a cute little guy. It's such a highly underrated Kanto mon. It deserved the attention it got with that Alolan form. Who else thought this was a shiny Nidoran male? I don't know why, but I never really liked this one. Definitely overshadowed by Nidoking. The best purple rat of Generation 1. I don't like this one either, but it's better than Nidorina. This thing is freaking awesome. It's the speedrun king. Can't believe this was going to be the mascot. The theories surrounding it are interesting, I just don't care for it. Both it and its Alolan form are pretty good. You thought I was going to make a Naruto reference, didn't you? I haven't even watched the show. It had a pretty funny gag in the anime. I forget this thing exists all the time. It's really annoying in caves. The Gen 1 sprite gives me nightmares. This is probably Snoop Dogg's favorite Pokemon. Why did they have to make it drool though? Does anyone else feel like it's wearing a fedora? The scariest thing in Pokemon Legends Arceus. It has such a bad typing. Just another Gen 1 bug or poison type. Wasn't it on Sabrina's team for some reason? I mean, it's a bug and poison type, it doesn't make sense. Diglity, diglity. Trio, trio, trio. The second best member of Team Rocket. Yet another Pokemon that's worse than its pre-evolution. I love Psyduck more than a lot of other people do. Should have been a Psychic type, or the Shiny should have been Yellow. It's grown on me a lot recently. Same thing as Mankey. It's just a cute little doggo. Who else used to think it was legendary? I will protect this thing with everything I got. PM7, where you at? It's just a bigger, angrier probably world. It's really annoying when they use teleport to get away from you. I always felt Kadabra was a little over-designed. I strive to have a mustache like Alakazam's. The tail always kind of weirded me out. Why does he have it? Pokemon just shouldn't have clothes like that. It's not natural. Machamp is cool, but really it's just Machoke with the bird beak and two arms. I have no idea why I like Bellsprout so much, yet here we are. Where do the legs go? what that mouth do? It has a really funny cry in the anime. That's all I remember it for. The most annoying surf Pokemon. I wish it was giant like that one episode in the anime. It's just a rock with arms. He reminds me of the boulder from Avatar. Okay, I'm confused. Now it's just a rock with a lizard face. It's just a cute little horse with the great shiny. I feel like there could have been a little more than just more fire and a horn. It's perfect. You can never go wrong with Slowpoke. I just feel like I could be best friends with a slow bro. I like it because I've used it a lot in the past. It's... Just three Magnemites. Yeah, Magnezone was needed. Should have had her evolution way earlier. A cute little bird with two heads. Can't wait to see what it turns into. Yeah, they just added another head and feathers. Quite literally, the most boring and forgettable Pokemon of all time. It gets a horn. That's it. It's just a pile of sludge. Nothing much. Just be glad the shiny wasn't white. The tongue makes this thing 10,000 times better. Pause. I can only think of that one double battle with the Onyx. But seriously, this thing is pretty broken. Behold, the creator of Pokemon Fusion. It's a pretty big change from Ghastly, but I like it. 
I love Gengar, man. There's a reason it's popular. It's way too weak for what it is. M and JTV, where you at? He's the one friend that always jokes about how many kids are in his basement. It's a crap. I actually kind of like Kingler. Probably because of the anime. I'm just telling you, you're going to hear that a lot in this video. It's just a ball. You could see what they were going for, though. It's terrifying when you run into these things and they explode. I know technically they're seeds, but they're eggs. Antonio and Executor is fine. Oh, and Executor is amazing. Sad backstory. One of my favorite Kanto mons. I probably like Marowak a lot more than the next person. Okay, but why is the face on the chest? I like it a lot better than Hitmon Lee. Probably my favorite Hitmon. Why does this exist? Just stop. Again, another Pokemon that I only remember from Team Rocket. Why do I feel like this guy is always in so much pain? I wish we actually got to have Rhyhorn races in the games. Kinda weird that I can learn Surf, but I love Rhydon. Don't say it. Why do I see this shiny everywhere? At least it's good for grinding XP. I might just be Tangela's number one supporter. I like it. The Mega is broken, but other than that, I don't think much about Kangaskhan. It's just a cute little seahorse. Not much to say. Probably my least favorite in this line because of how spiky it is. It's still cool though. It's just a stupid fish with a horn. I don't know why this thing has the title of King. It's nowhere close. Yeah! Probably the best cry of all time. Just a purple star you with more legs. Is that what those are? Does anyone else get creeped out by him? One of the coolest bug type Pokemon ever. Kill it. I hate it. It's disgusting. I actually really enjoy this line. Electabuzz is really cool. I feel like there's way too much going on in this design. Especially with the forehead butt. Kind of scary looking, but it's kind of cool. I know it got a Paldean form, but it needs an evolution. Come on, man. Tauros is cool. The best fish Pokemon. Glow up of the century. I love Gyarados. It's so fun to use. This Pokemon is just beautiful. I don't know what else to say. It's a great design. One of the cutest Pokemon ever. And a really cool concept. A really good secondary mascot. Don't you say it. J don't say it, please. The second best evolution. It's awesome. I love Jolteon. Probably my least favorite evolution. It's just alright. Oregon is innocent. It had no right to be banned from the anime. Pikachu, I'm looking at you. Lord Helix. Fun fact, this thing helped me win the Kanto Elite Four in Pokemon Blue when it was just an Omanyte. Not as good as the pre-evo. I still like it, though. The inferior Kanto Fossil. Doesn't look like a horseshoe crab, but Kabutops is really cool. I just feel like there's always something off about Aerodactyl. It's okay, I guess. Yet another one of my favorite Kanto Mons. Snorlax is amazing. My personal favorite legendary bird. It's just really cool. It looks like it was made out of construction paper, but the Galar form is a lot better. It's one of those rubber chickens that you squeeze. I can never unsee it. For the first pseudo legendary, it's pretty good. Oh, I bet it's going to turn into a really cool sea serpent. I mean, Dragonair is pretty cool. Oh, it's a dragon. It deserved a mega evolution, but then there would have to be a Dragonite Ite, which isn't right. Anyway, it could have been something else, but I like Dragonite. Everyone used to think it was the strongest Pokemon, and it's pretty cool. I love Mewtwo. And here we have the precedent of having really cute and strong mythicals. It was actually kind of cute in the anime. Definitely the coolest in this line. It's the worst final Evolve starter. It should have taken more from Bayleaf. My favorite Johto starter. I love the little Mohawk flame. It's just a great design. It's really cool. I think there could be more flames, though. I love its personality. Yabba dabba doo! Why is it the caveman, though? All I can remember is that thick Gen 3 sprite. One of the better regional mammals. I was surprised to find out it actually had two legs. It's probably the least memorable regional bird. It's just an oversized ladybug. It's a cool concept, but it needs an evolution. I never really cared for Spinarak. Ariados is actually kind of cool. Definitely in my top 20 favorites. This evolution was desperately needed. The eyes are kind of weird, but it's still a little cool lantern dude. I just wish it was stronger. It doesn't need to exist, but it's adorable. Unnecessary baby Pokemon number one. Unnecessary baby Pokemon number two. An actual good introduction to baby Pokemon. It's pretty useless. Another forgettable Gen 2 Pokemon. I feel like they just slapped a body onto Nantu. It's the best sheep Pokemon. 
And y'all complain about Incineroar standing on two legs. Should have given it steel wool and made it a steel type. So pretty cool though. It would have fit perfectly in Gen 7. So is this the Gen 2 Pikachu clone? Only really useful in terror raids, or when it has huge power. I can't be the only one who thought it was a grass type. He's just a cute little frog. I wish its evolution stuck with the propeller thing. Just a bit of a downgrade from Hoppip. Its Scarlet and Violet Dex entry hits different though. <gasps> Monkey! It's not cute, and it's just useless. It's such a boring design. Plants vs. Zombies did it better. Really forgettable until Yon Mega. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Perfect everything, down to the last minute details. I just want to give this dude a hug. Probably the weirdest evolution, but it's not bad. This is my favorite evolution, hands down. I just love everything about it. The only reason I like this thing is because of Honchkrow. It's my least favorite member of the Slowpoke family, but it's okay. It's kind of dumb, this is the only ghost type we got in Gen 2. Only true fans can read what it's saying. The third best team member of Team Rocket. For Rigoraf was desperately needed. I forgot this thing existed before Gen 9. It's a green pine cone. Oh, I'm sorry, Bagworm. Kind of underrated in my opinion. Dunsparce is simply just there. Not much else to say. I wish it was easier to get in Gen 2. But then again, Gliscor didn't exist. It's a really cool evolution. Onyx definitely needed a strength boost. Eh, I never really cared for it. So, are the teeth covered in its skin? I don't know, this design is just always weirding me out. Yet another standalone Johto Pokemon that got an evolution later. My favorite Johto Mon. It's such a cool evolution to Scyther. I have no reason as to why I like it so much. I wish it was easier to get. It's an underrated Pokemon. It's kind of cool with its like bandit aesthetic, but yet again saved by a later gen evolution. It's just a cute little teddy bear guy. It's actually a pretty cool Pokemon. Don't say it, you're not funny. Fire Rock is not a good typing. It's a pretty cool concept though. Wish there was a little more personality to it. Ro got that mega mind forehead. The Galarian form is better. So this is supposed to be a pistol? Get that this line is based on weapons, but having a fish go to an octopus just doesn't make sense. I don't like this thing, it's useless. Kinda forgettable, but also kinda cool. I always think this thing is in Gen 3. It's another fire dog, but this time it's edgier. It's actually kind of cool. I should try to use it in a playthrough. I don't exactly understand why it's a dragon, but it's really cool. It's a really cute elephant. I've always loved this thing. It's pretty small for an elephant, but it's a cool concept. This is how my mom peels potatoes. Too bad it wasn't in the anime. <coughs> Pikachu. What's up with his butt? This thing is pretty unique. I kind of like it. Actually an acceptable baby Pokemon. It's the most unique Hitmon. Unnecessary baby Pokemon number three. I'm not a fan of baby Pokemon, but I like Alakid. It's better than a lot of the other baby Pokemon. Kill it. Burn it. Destroy it. Don't even show me that 3D sprite. A bit unnecessary, but I'll take the XP. It might be my favorite legendary beast. I always felt like Entei was the leader of the legendary beast. Bravo. This is a really good design. I don't know why I love this little guy so much. Why exactly did it turn into a cocoon? Ah, who cares, I love this line. It's a really cool Godzilla Pokemon. I've always loved Tyranitar. I don't think it's my favorite pseudo, but it's definitely up there. Come on, we can all agree this should have been a water type. This feels like a cooler Fero. Cool when Ash saw it. It's an underrated mythical. It's cool and I love its personality. It's one of the best second stage starters. Now this is peak starter Pokemon. I love Sceptile. It's also my favorite Mega and probably my favorite Hoenn Pokemon. It's a cute little chicken. Yeah, we all know the body shape looks a little weird. I actually think it's really cool. Yes, I like Mudkips. It's a pretty good middle stage. It just lost all of its emotion in 3D. It's not my favorite Hoenn starter, but I'm really attached to it. If I were Professor Birch, I would just punt this thing to the moon. I used to like it, but it doesn't really matter to me anymore. It's pretty cute. That's it. The third stage should have been Appa from Avatar because it has an arrow on its head. It's alright, but I never really liked the butt face. Yet another boring cocoon Pokemon. Not as cool as Dustox. This is like the fifth boring cocoon Pokemon. I actually think it's kind of cool. It did save my Nuzlocke after all. Is it a duck? Or a frog? Ah, who cares? I love this thing. 
I think I just like Pokemon with hats. I have no idea what it's based on or anything, but I love it. And it's just a little boring, because it's an acorn. Why does it have nipples? Just why? It's a really big change from Nuzleaf, but I don't hate it. It's a pretty cute bird. It's Ash's best bird. Should have been three stage, though. It's really annoying in Gen 7. Yeah, this thing looks like a toilet. It's kind of cute. Max should have had one, though. I don't really understand how this can turn into a Gallade. Please don't say Smash. It could be a boy after all. It's based on those really cool water skater bugs. That's the only thing that's really cool about this thing. I know what they were going for, but I just don't care about this thing at all. I love Shroomish. I feel like everyone loves Shroomish. Yet another cool Pokemon with a hat. Gen 3 grass types are all pretty cool. This is me after I get home from school. I love its energy. I wish it carried over into slacking. Great Pokemon, terrible ability. I always get confused over this guy's type. It's a cool, speedy ninja bug. It's really unique. If only it had a better typing. I don't really like the eyes. Why does it have a butthole? This design always makes me uncomfortable. Yep, this did not help. I was confused as to what this thing was for the longest time. Damn, boy, he fit! Useless baby Pokemon number four. It is pretty cute, though. Moai. I got a long history with this thing. Does anyone else want to bite into his tail like it's a corn dog? Really forgettable. Should have evolved one more time. He's a fun little gremlin. I don't care about this thing in the slightest. It's a little cute guy. It's a pretty cool metal dinosaur. It's really cool. It deserves more attention. Why does the head kind of look like an onion? If I had a nickel for every Gen 3 thick fighting type, I'd have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that I haven't twice. The big forehead kind of disturbs me, but it's still kind of cute. It needs more than just a Mega Evolution. The better Gen 3 Pikachu clone. The worse Gen 3 Pikachu clone. Stupid and useless. Stupid and useless number two. This thing was saved by Gen 4. The only acceptable D's Nuts joke. The better D's Nuts joke. It has a really underrated shiny. This thing sucked in the Isle of Armor. We all know the shiny looks like Thanos. I love Wailord, but it could definitely benefit from a second type or a bigger 3D model. I always see people arguing about how to pronounce it. Me personally, I go back and forth between Numel and Numel. Really cool design, with the volcanoes on the back and all. I didn't really like Ashes, but it's okay. The fact that if it starts bouncing, it dies is really scary. I do not like this thing. Pretty unique, but it's just a dex filler. Should have been a bug type. Should have been a bug type. I love it, but should have been a bug type. And got an Omega. The mouth kind of weirds me out. It's a cool cowboy guy. A pretty cute bird. Why is it a dragon type? I used to love this thing, and I still do. It's pretty underrated. The first moon Pokemon before Lunala. The first sun Pokemon before Sogaleo. I used to think this was a standalone Pokemon. Probably because you're so forgettable. I liked Ashes in the anime. It's underpraised. I used to think it was a bird. I hate all those eyes. Does this make anyone else uncomfortable? I know this design used to confuse a lot of people, but it never confused me. What is confusing is those weird looking wieners sticking out of it. I don't know what to say. I don't really have any thoughts on this thing. It's actually pretty cool. I know the concept is that it's ugly, but man, this thing's ugly. Glow up of the century. Pretty cute besides the balls. Interesting concept, but pretty forgettable. P guys blankets in the morning. Not the most memorable ghost type, but it's cool. This thing's cool. I don't know what to say. Yet another cool ghost type Pokemon. This thing needs attention. It's so cool. One of the worst Gen 3 mons. Really cool concept for a really cool Pokemon. Game Freak really said why not make another useless baby Pokemon. <laughs> it's alright. Pretty cool, but the Mega is pretty weird. One of, if not the cutest Pokemon of all time. The better seal, the better dugong. It's so forgettable that it's memorable. It's the cooler of the two evolutions. So, uh, why are the shells there? I can't be the only one who thought it was a fossil Pokemon. This is my least favorite Pokemon. I hate Love Disk with every fiber of my being. It's useless, it's stupid, it's just a heart-shaped fish. The only purpose it served was giving me heart scales. I hate this thing. I mean, I liked its episode in the anime. I don't really understand the change, but I like it. 
It's a cool blue dragon. What else do you want me to say? Why is it so hard to catch? I don't get how it's two Beldum put together, but I like it. The coolest pseudo-legendary Pokemon. <laughs> Let's be real, Ash should have caught it. It might be one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. For a fish Pokemon, it's really cool. I always used to think the original form was a fire type. Now this is peak Pokemon. Continuing the trend of having cute mythical Pokemon, while also having a really cool mythical Pokemon at the same time. It's perfection. It's one of the best starters. Yeah, it's a bit of a downgrade. This is my third favorite Pokemon. I love Torterra so much. Monkey! Don't hate on me, but I also think this is a bit of a downgrade. No, that's a cool monkey. It's adorable. It's an awesome, cute little penguin. We're three for three with the not-so-great middle stages. I used to hate it, but now it's actually alright. It's just another generic bird Pokemon. It's another generic bird, but it's a derpy this time. Now this is one of the best regional birds. Bidoof was perfect, and everything changed when the barrel attacked. I don't care about Krikatot at all. Like, nothing comes to mind. But... It's a little too cute to have Intimidate. It's another eh medieval, but it's alright. It's so cool. It deserves the Dark type or Omega. Or both. I don't think it's a useless baby Pokemon. Was it really needed? Now this was needed, and it's really cool. It's one of the best fossils, actually. It's cool, but I have a friend that looks exactly like him. I like him when fossil Pokemon actually look like dinosaurs. With one exception. I personally think the green one's the best form, but what do you think? Yeah, I really don't like Wormadam. I don't really like it, but it has a cool shiny. When you finally get a shiny one, and it's male. It's funny how it went from being one of the rarest Pokemon to being very common. I can't be the only one who thought it was an ice type. It's really cute and cool. Everything that Buizel is, but more. This is number 420 in the decks. What a missed opportunity. Really forgettable, but the sun form's cute. Yeah, this is definitely the worst form. There we go, that's better. Its face is really unsettling. Do not let this thing near a child. It's shiny is cool, but there's nothing special about it. Everybody, meet Chad. Y'all are nasty. Leave Lil Punny alone. This is one of many much-needed evolutions. This is one of the best added evolutions. I love Honchkrow so much. The evolution's called Perugly for a reason. The Nuzlocke Ender. The worst and most useless baby Pokemon. I really don't like the butt face. Great, now it has a butthole on the top of its head. It lacks personality. I don't care for it. For a Pokemon based off of Bell of all things, it's alright. I don't think it was needed, but I don't hate it. Another useless baby Pokemon to a bad line. You just had to make it a three-stage line. Yeah, it's a pretty good thing Chatter was fixed. I have no idea why I love it so much, but Spiritomb's just so cool. I feel like me and Gibble could be really good friends. That's a pretty good transition stage from the first to last. Uh, why do I hear boss music? This is one of my favorite baby Pokemon. It's perfect. Now this is my favorite baby Pokemon. I know a lot of people say it's furry bait, but Lucario is a top 20 favorite Pokemon of mine. I never realized how many holes this thing had. I used to think the female was the shiny, until I found an actual shiny hip out on. It was just a cute little scorpion. I feel like the arm should be attached somewhere else, but it's still cool. I love Brock's in the anime. PM7, where you at? It's really annoying in Legends Arceus. I'm gonna start a petition to make Game Freak stop making fish Pokemon. The beta design was better than this. It's not needed, but it's cute so I'll let it slide. I always get it confused with Snow Run for some reason. You see, this is what all ice types should be like. Glass cannons. It's a lot better than just three Magnemites taped together. Why lick a tongue of all things? Why? A lot of people don't like it, but I actually think it's really cool. I've never used this thing before in my life, but I love it. This is another top 10 for me. I love Electivire. The arm cannons are cool, but I really don't like the face. The flying fairy type is really cool, and it's a much needed evolution. Could have been the first dragon bug Pokemon, but it's still cool. It's definitely in the bottom of the evolutions for me. I really like the leaf coloration and design. 
I like it a little better than Leafeon, but it's not much better. It's one of the coolest new evolutions in Sinnoh. Is it a pig? Is it a mammoth? I don't know, but it's really cool. It's fun to use, and it's a really cool concept. This is one of my favorite Pokemon. I love Gallade. It's so cool. I don't know what else to say for these new evolutions. They're all really cool. It should have gotten a Mega alongside Glalie. Come on, we all thought this was a legendary at one point. I have no idea why, but this is my favorite Lake Guardian. The weird little hair things look really weird to me. I like the color scheme. I'm just not a fan of the trio. In my opinion, this is one of the coolest box art legends there are. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I really can't unsee the penis in this one. Really? This is the only fire steel type there is? Cool lore and everything, but slow start sucks. It's a really cool Pokemon. The perfect opposite of Arceus. It's really forgettable, but its shiny is really good. I really liked its movie in the anime. It was pretty good. It's funny how some mythicals are really cute, and then they're really cool like Darkrai. Now this is a really cute idea for a hedgehog Pokemon. Now this is the perfect design for the god of all Pokemon. It just feels so powerful, you know? The colors are great, everything about it's great, shiny's great, and it's really cool how it can change types, but that's kind of ruined by terrestrialization. Anyway, this is one of the best designs there is out there. Yeah, you probably expected the Gen 5 noise to come up. But nah, this is a two-part video. This video is getting really long and really hard to edit, so I'm just going to make this a two-part video, and I'll finish it next part. The next part will be Gens 5 through 9, and hopefully that part isn't as hard to edit. Anyway, stick around for part two. I'll be making that one pretty soon. Like and subscribe, and have a good day. That's a cut.